When it comes to finding a reliable website hosting service, it can be a huge headache. That being said, there's a ton of different services to choose from, but in today's video, I wanna highlight two that I think are worth comparing. Those two being Hostinger and HostGator. These are both incredibly popular services, each with their own benefits and drawbacks that we'll be breaking down inside of this video. We'll be going over everything you need to know as far as their features, price, ease of use, and even the advanced technology that they claim to offer. By the end of this video, you'll have a clear idea of which of these two services is right for you and your personal needs. And to get started with both of these, make sure to use the links down in the description below so you can get access to the best possible deals, discounts, and coupon codes for both of these services. But without further ado, let's talk about our very first competitor, which is Hostinger. When it comes to Hostinger, they have a wide variety of features at their disposal. Things like an AI website builder, online web hosting, and even a domain name indexing tool that allows you to host domains and keep them organized and neatly displayed. If you're somebody who's just just getting started with building a website on the internet, this is probably one of the best services to get started with. It's easy to use, very user-friendly, cheap, affordable, and they have all the tools you need to actually get from point A to point B in building your first website. I wanna take you on a deep dive inside of Hostinger and show you how their website editor works and how some of their features actually function in the first place. In order to follow along with this, make sure to use the link down in the description box below. When you click that link, you'll be brought to a page that looks like this. As you can see, with our link, you'll get up to 75% off web hosting, a free domain, and you'll get three free months alongside the $2.99 a month plan that you can get when you use our link. To get access to all of this, simply hit the claim deal button. Once you hit the claim deal button, you'll then be taken to the pricing tier page where you can pick which pricing tier works for your budget. Each of these pricing tiers have their own benefits and drawbacks, and each one of them has more features than the last. The premium pricing tier has a variety of different features, but quite a few limited features and also straight up restricted access to some of their most important features. One of the biggest parts of this being a lot in their hosting or website builder, where you can find things like AI copywriting tools, AI heat maps, AI SEO tools, and even e-commerce features that are going to be restricted at the basic tier. When we go up to their most popular plan, the business tier, we get access to way more features and pretty much lose most of the limited access that we had from the beginning. Each of these features are all great if you're looking to host a website, create a domain, or even build a website from scratch. And if you're somebody who has a more established business or website, the cloud startup option might be better for you. This has every single feature at your disposal with no limitations and no hidden features, meaning that you don't have to worry about getting access to a certain tier and not having a certain thing that you need at your disposal. If you're a big company or an already established website, this might be the way to go. Now, for the sake of this video, and just because this is probably what most of you guys are going to need, we're going to go with the most popular option, which is their business tier, which is right in the middle. Now, to get the best possible deal, we're going to hit the add to cart button, which will then take us to the checkout page. On the checkout page, it's going to ask us three essential questions. The first of these questions is going to be, what would our payment period look like? For the payment period, this is essentially just how much we're going to be paying them on a monthly basis. We can either pay them on a one month basis, a 12 month basis, a 24 month basis, or a 48 month basis. Now, in order to save the most amount of money, we probably want to go with the 48 month basis because that's going to save us 480 bucks. Plus, we'll also get three free months. We're going to select this plan, head down here, and create a quick account. All this is going to take is an email address and a password. Password. Once we've done that, we're then going to select our payment option and enter in our personal details and our card info. After we've done all of this, this is how you're going to get access to the best possible deal by clicking the have a coupon code question mark. Once you've clicked this, simply enter in the code I first website, all capitals with no spaces and hit the apply button. Once you've hit the apply button, the coupon will be applied and you'll be saving that much more money on the original plan. After that, you simply enter in your card details and hit the submit secure payment option and you'll be ready to go with Hostinger. Now, once you've you've paid and created an account with Hostinger, this is the page you'll be brought to. This will show a variety of different pieces of information and metrics that might be important to you. Things like your hosting plan, your domains, or even websites that you've already built. For this specific video, I want to show you guys how their AI website builder actually works. In order to get access to the AI website builder, you can either scroll to the very bottom and hit create a website or scroll to the very top and hit the websites tab. Once you've hit that button, you then can head over here where it says add website and click that feature. We can then either choose WordPress to create the website within WordPress or use Hostinger's website builder, which is an AI powered drag and drop website builder. Because I want to show you in this video how it works, I'm going to be using the AI powered drag and drop website builder. I'm going to click that and then it will take me to the next page. They then will ask me to select a simple hosting plan, which I can pick any one of the hosting plans that we currently have at our disposal. Once I've selected our hosting plan, I'll then click select plan. It'll then take a short time to load the AI website builder and then we can get started building. As you can see, this is the page that it takes you once you've selected that. As you can see, we can now 
let AI create your website in minutes. We're then going to hit the start creating button. We're then going to enter in our brand name. We'll just call it gym clothes brand. We'll then enter in the type of website. We'll say that this is an online store. For the description, we'll say we are a gym clothing brand focus on men's wear. Something like that. Doesn't really matter too much as long as you get pretty detailed about the specific thing that you want the website builder to create for you. Shouldn't be too difficult. Once you've done this, you can then add a few different personalization settings like surprise me, minimal, elegant, old, or change the color palette. But for this instance, we're just going to go ahead and click create a website. Once we've done that, the AI will start creating the website and it may take a few moments to get everything ready. Once it's ready though, you will have a fully functioning out of the box working website that you can get started with. And now as you can see, it has fully created a working website that we can fully access and edit on the fly with anything we'd like to do. In order to edit this website, it's super intuitive and easy. All you have to do is go up to the top right corner and hit edit website. As you can see, everything is drag and drop and you can move things around and change things pretty much on the fly. As you can see for this text box, I can simply double click and start typing in it to change it to say whatever I'd like it to say. They even have an AI writer tool that allows you to write things with AI by simply giving it a few minimal instructions and going from there. Once we're done editing the website, we can then go up to the top right where it says save and hit the save button. Or if we think we're ready to have this website go live, we can hit the go live button, which will then make this website accessible to everybody on the public with the domain. And that's pretty much everything that the website builder functionality of Hostinger does. They also have full hosting and domain functionality, which is super helpful if you have a ton of domains under your belt or just somebody who's looking to get into domains in the first place. Now that's pretty much everything you would need to know about Hostinger when utilizing it. Let's talk about its direct competitor, which is HostGator. HostGator is a very interesting service. It's definitely modernized itself quite a bit in the last couple of years, and it's been around since about 2002. This is a business that is pretty much dedicated to the same things that Hostinger does, things like hosting, domains, and even website building. When we go to their homepage, this is basically what it says. We can get started for as low as $3.75 a month, which is a pretty decent deal. When it comes to their actual tools and services that they offer, again, they offer a website builder. They offer things like CodeGuard, an SSL certificate, Google Workspace, SiteLock, and a host of other helpful website features. When we actually head over to the overview, HostGator is mostly focused on secure website technology. Keeping your website secure and keeping the domain out of bad actors hands and protecting you from things like DDoS attacks or other internet problems. As you can see, the SSL certificate actually protects the owner of the website themselves, making sure that nobody can attack the ownership of your website and steal the website from you. Their site lock security is also purported to be super great at keeping out bad actors and potential viruses and any hackers that may be trying to access your website. Plus, they also have CodeGuard, which is a technology that basically guards your code and keeps it away from people who would have malicious intent. Not to mention the 24-7's 365 day support, which means you'll always have answers to the questions that you might have. Now really quick here, just to compare pricing, I went over to their pricing page and this is what they have to offer. They only really have three plans at their disposal, a hatchling plan, a baby plan, and the business plan. The hatchling plan is about $3.75 a month. The baby plan is about $4.50 a month. And the business plan is about $6.25 a month. Each of these plans come with their own distinct set of features and each plan offers more features than the last. The hatching plan has the least amount of features, but it does come with one website, 10 gigabytes of SSD storage, chat support, and a host of other features. The baby plan comes with two websites, 20 gigabytes of SSD, and a host of others. And the business plan comes with three websites, 40 gigs, and a host of other features as well. One of the things I do want to mention is that as far as reviews are concerned on Trustpilot, this does have a 4.1 out of five stars, which isn't that impressive. Not only that, but it seems that Hostinger has a lot more websites that you're allowed to have at your disposal with even some of their most basic plans. When it comes to actually finally comparing these two together, Hostinger and HostGator, it seems that Hostinger seems to be the better option. While HostGator might be good if you're somebody trying to get into this process for as little as possible and as cheaply as possible, it just seems that Hostinger has a better optionality and better features for a more affordable price. If you guys are curious about getting started with either of these services, make sure to use the links down in the description box below. Please keep in mind those are affiliate links and we do earn a small commission from every sign up. So thank you in advance for your support. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure to leave a like and subscribe so you never miss any of the new videos that we post to our YouTube channel. Other than that, though, that's all I have for you guys today. Hopefully you guys enjoy this video and I'll see you guys in the next one.